Hey guys and welcome back to my channel or welcome if you are new. My name is Jillian and today I have a meal prep video. So I'm going to be sharing with you guys what I meal prepped for the week for both lunch and dinner. I'm doing two different dishes. I'm doing a Philly cheesesteak dish and the side is going to be some jasmine rice. And then I'm also doing a coleslaw little dish. It's like a coleslaw bowl. And then on the side of that, I decided to do just like a mixed green salad. These are super easy and simple meals to cook. I did not take a long time making these. A lot of times when I meal prep, it takes me three hours or more. And this did not take me over three hours. It was probably the quickest meal prep I've done. So if you guys are wanting to try to start meal prepping for you and your family, or maybe just for yourself, this is a great way to start on easy meals that don't take a super long time. So I'm going to leave the recipes down below. I did find them on Pinterest. Again, they are super delicious. So I will leave it linked down below just in case you guys would like to try them out. So let's just go ahead and jump right into today's meal prep video. All right, you guys, so these are the items that you're going to need or the ingredients you're going to need for these recipes. I did add in one or two other items I will share with you guys once I start cooking, but you are going to need some beef stock, some Kobe Jack cheese, an onion, some rice of your choice. I'm choosing to do jasmine rice, a green pepper. I'm also going to be using some liquid aminos. You can also use soy sauce, but I like to use liquid aminos or coconut aminos. I'm also going to be using some broccoli slaw. I didn't have regular coleslaw, so I just opted to use the broccoli coleslaw and then a bunch of different seasonings and then as far as meats i'm going to be using this organic ground beef and then i'm also going to be using some of these italian mild sausages so the first thing i'm going to go ahead and do is cook up the sausage i'm just going to throw it in a pan with a little bit of olive oil season it and once it is cooked then i will start adding all the other ingredients which is pretty much just like the coleslaw and i think i did add in um, some more seasonings after i did the coleslaw just because i wanted to have a little more taste to it So now that my sausage is almost completely cooking, I'm going to go ahead and add in my broccoli slaw. I also added some of my liquid aminos. And then at the last minute, I decided to go ahead and add my quinoa kale salad. I had some left over from the lunch the previous day and I didn't want it to go to waste. So I just went ahead and threw it into this recipe. The recipe did not call for it. But like I said, I just decided to go ahead and use up what was left in the container. And now that this coleslaw bowl is finished cooking, I'm gonna go ahead and just add it into a container. So during the week when I wanna eat this, it is already made in the container. Some days I just ate it as is, and then other days I did add it on top of a salad and it was really good with my mixed green salad. So now that that is complete, I'm gonna go ahead and move on to my next recipe. I am gonna cut up a green pepper, remove the seeds and just slice it up into thin slices. You can chop it up into like bite-sized pieces really finely or into slices. I just cut mine up into thin slices slices. I'm also going to be cutting up some onion. I love cooked onion. So I used half of this onion. It was a pretty large onion. You can use as much or as little as you would like. But like I said, I really like cooked onions. So I used half of this large onion. I'm gonna go ahead and add in the pepper and onion into a pan with a little bit of olive oil and some salt and pepper. And once that is cooked up or almost completely cooked, I like mine to be almost browned. I'm gonna go ahead and then add in my ground beef, season that and mix it all together. I 
I also added a little bit of beef stock and that just added a little more flavor to this dish. You don't have to put beef stock, but I did add a little bit of beef stock to mine just because like I said, it did add some extra flavor to this dish. <laughs> And now that my meat is completely cooked, I am gonna go ahead and throw in the jasmine rice in the microwave. I just chose the easy way out and have these microwavable jasmine rice bags. So now I'm gonna split up all of the meat into four different containers so I can eat during the week. I honestly didn't really measure it. I just eyeballed it and tried to make it as even as possible, split it up into four containers. Same thing with the rice. I didn't measure it. I just pretty much split it up as even as possible into these four little plastic containers. I got these from Target. I know I did see them at Walmart as well and also Kroger I'm not sure it was either Target or Kroger that I bought it at but like I said I have seen these containers at Walmart Kroger and Target if you guys are interested they also sell them on Amazon And this is how everything looks laid out. So I have my four containers of my Philly cheesesteak, which is just the ground beef with some onions and peppers and a side of jasmine rice. And I have four containers of that. And then in this container is where I have the sausage with the coleslaw, so delicious. And this is a spring mix I use to eat it with on the side, or you can just eat it as is. And this will be a full week of lunch and dinner. All right, guys, so that is going to end my meal prep video for this week. I hope you guys enjoyed it. And maybe I gave you guys some ideas for some lunches and dinners for you and your family. I like to meal prep just because it keeps me on track, keeps me from going out and eating out and spending money. So it actually saves me money because I'm not out eating lunch. So it definitely saves me during the week. Now, sometimes I don't meal prep every single week. I did meal prep for probably an entire month straight. And then now I'm doing it like every other week. So last week I did not meal prep. This week I did meal prep. So right now I'm doing it like every other week, but it definitely keeps me on track. So I hope you guys enjoyed it. These meals were super delicious and super easy to cook. Again, I will leave them linked down below just in case you guys would like to try them out. As always, thank you so much for watching today's video. If you enjoyed it, remember to give it a thumbs up. It definitely helps out me and my channel and I appreciate it so much. If you have not already, consider subscribing. I would love to have you be a part of my YouTube family. I love you guys. I hope you guys have an amazing rest of your day and I will see you guys next time. Bye.